everybody, welcome back to runout.tv. We're back at the concert save and we're in the Squirrel North Division. We're going to go straight to have a look and see how we're getting on there. And as you can see, in fifth position, we're actually doing quite well. So, you know, Lincoln are at the top. I lived in Lincoln for five years, always liked the place. They're undefeated. Um, so they're going to be looking like they're going to be the form team of the season unless something goes badly wrong. You know, can't complain with how we've done. We've won six, drawn two, lost three. We've only scored 19 goals and conceded 14, so we've scraped through quite a few games. So I'm not sure if this league position is going to be uh, necessarily where I'm going to finish. At the moment, I'm thinking mid-table. But, you know, if we get into the playoffs, uh, we've definitely had a jump in terms of quality of what we're playing. Um, so it's going to be tough. Just looking at our first team, we have signed Sam Akindi who is a 24-year-old, a decent player for most, most teams. Could become a good striker. He's a bit of a squad player, but I felt we were lacking just that little bit of quality. Um, Scott Ramsey, still there or thereabouts. Still got a lot of potential, but if you look here, just a little bit down in terms of actual skill. Uh, we've also signed Charlie Clamp, which is a, I think quite a good name. Charlie is a former lead squad member and has played four years Bradford Park Avenue. So good experience in the division. Came to us on a free transfer, of course, because we haven't got any transfer money. And, you know, has is got a really good reputation as a four-star player in the division. So it's going to be a good player. So we've got Hawkins, Murray and Clamp, I think, is good for the middle of the park in terms of what we're doing. And we've still got Leon Chapman um, in there as well. We do have one injury, which is a bit of an irritation. Adam Sale, out for two to four days. He, again, is another very good player. Fits in nicely on our right-back position. Um, everybody else is doing quite well. The form players of the year is Aidan Chippendale, who I signed, who, who hasn't really got, you know, it's just what you see is what you get, really, on the on the attacking left position that I like in my tactics. Unfortunately, you can't really get anyone, like I talked about in the last video, in that position that's any good at this level. Um, we've got a couple of issues of fitness coming into this game. Now, just to go into fixtures, just to have a look, uh, sort of miss out the friendlies at the top but the competitive games let's go down where are we friendly 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 he's there um, Alfred and first two games they were tough tough games we won them both um, we were actually top of the league or near enough top of the league uh, after that lost badly to Kings Lane they just outplayed us we had a couple of bad wins losses sorry and then we beat Rushall 5-3 that was a great game we were never behind but um, I think we were 5-1 up or something let's have a look I think we were yeah Tim got a hat-trick we were we were 4-0 up and then they came back to 4-2 we had 5-2 and then they scored literally with the last kick of the game so it was quite a comfortable win um, then we played Holbrook in the second qualifying round of the cup now we are hemorrhaging money in terms of a club we uh, our board keeps putting in like 85 grand this grand we're losing about 20 grand a week I mean I don't know how we're going to survive moving up the divisions it's a little bit unrealistic in, in that area but obviously we, we do what we do there um, again we won 5-0 Holbrook were a team in a lot lower division couldn't really expect to lose that game but today we've got Hampton and Richmond um, which are the, the the team as you can see doing well in their league they're about the same as us if we look at the Squirrel South they're in 8th position they've won 5 out of 11 you know it's going to be a tough game today so we're looking at the team in terms of what we can pick now right back we've got Tom Bed Bedard who's a youth player lots of potential um, very very good but the place at the right back is just behind Adam Sale in terms of, of where he is in, in the in the team in fact there's very little to choose between them he's actually probably better to play him instead of Sale simply because he could go as high as League 2 which is a great great signing for us um, shows he can play in much higher leagues so he's in there but he's got a fitness of 84 so we might have to put someone like Jordan Mellish out of position slightly um, Jordan has unfortunately fell down the pecking order a little bit now that we've got Ashworth again we've got Colin Watson on attacking right I did think about putting in Ellis there but again he's unfit as well um, Leon Chapman to kind of play there otherwise he might have been worth a, a punt so we're really doing what we can to get the best team out as possible Timmins doing very well at this level. This is why I signed him. Uh, again, he's only a two-star guy. Not likely to improve. He's a decent player, but he's banging the goals in. Ashley Cartwright's actually a better forward by, by quite some way. Um, but he's only got a fitness of 79. So, unfortunately, I can't start him. 
uh, but he's probably the man who, who would start up front. He, he's not really, um, he's a decent player. Timmons doing well. I mean, it's only giving him two stars, but the form's there, isn't it? 7.5, you know, one of the highest rating averages. The best one's Tom Allenson. I mean, will this lad ever reach his level? He's pretty much at his level now, but let's just look at his history. Since we had him in Division 1, he has just performed constantly. 56 goals and 64 assists, 25 man of the matches across the the five seat the fourth and now the fifth season he's played for us it'll be really sad when he has to go i think he's coming to the end of his tenure in our team if we go up another level but what a servant he's been to concert in this save so there's the squad we're going to go for it we're playing away from home so i'm going to go for a counter-attacking tactics um possibly maybe pulling these guys back to a four four one one I tend to just let them go for it to be honest I think I might just pull these lads back just a little bit um, maybe leave Watson there maybe pull Chippendale I'm not sure whether I'm knacking myself here well that's all their favourite position so I might just leave them there but I am going to play a balanced counter attacking style and uh, let's see what happens guys <laughs> I really love to win this, it's a central revenue, I did get through to the third round of the a couple of seasons ago, and if I win the team, so there's no reason why I couldn't you know, go on a win here, um, Game for you know, these are the um, editing things from from the which I think are fantastic. I love the costumes. So I'm going to make some very good things to start to start going. These are protecting the lead, but it gives them a piece of the head out on the pitch. And again, with another assist, a beautiful ball from the attacking centre midfield position. You know, you might have less stars, but what I've, I always think is you know, the 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 don't get too obsessed. <coughs> Excuse me, with, with the star <coughs> Anyway, bit sidetrack there. Sorry about that. Um, so let's have a look and see who's who's fit. Um, obviously, Bedard is unlikely to last the game, um, but he's done quite well. He's run 5.9 kilometres and he's still only 74. Got Murray at 73, so I'm probably going to bring Murray. Well, Murray scored, so we're going to leave him on. I think we're just going to say, well, I like I like to encourage them. I think that's a good thing. Everything's going well. Let's just. Uh, Let's just start the second half. Everything's coming across the line of this. Um, really, again, I'm going to have to be replaced in about 60 or 50 minutes. I'm going to be able to do that. I'm going to be able to do that. I'm going to be able to do that. Very well. Who 
was it? Chippendale, it was Allenson again, another assist. What a player he was for us. Great signing. changes now guys no sense in tiring our players any more than what they already are in fact it's Ashworth that's going to move to the right back position and we're going to put on Jordan Mellish who himself isn't that fit but fit enough to play for a bit longer in the game uh, Tom Murray is also very unfit we're not going to put Clamp on because he's 82 I think we're going to put we're going to put Chapman on um, Matty Timmon might need a change but we're going to wait till about the seventh of the is going to be the Let's make the final change now. Watson, um, uh, now he's taking a knock, but he's not seen as injured. He seems to be okay, so we're going to go for a kindy. Give him a run out. Yeah, he might get a goal or two. away from home and amazing performance looks like the counter-attacking balanced might well be the way forward for us let's just follow our assistant instructions keep on Tried to get the ball, just hit on run. Unfortunately, went in. It was a scramble. Um, luckily, we, you know, it's a shame we're not going to get the clean sheet. But I'm sure the fact that we're three is fantastic. And there, there we go. Brilliant performance. So everyone played really well. Man of the match, good old dependable Tom Allenson. We looked at him before the game. I think we can be very passionately uh, happy with that. And I'm just going to say to Jack Hawkins, I want him to be to be happy. He's not though. And Postlethwaite as well had a very very good game. So he's fired up, he's happy. Um, so brilliant performance there, and that means we, we get some much needed funds from the FA. So we're gonna move forward now to the 17th. We're gonna play the match against AFC Telford. See how we get on, there you go. A really comprehensive victory with 903 people in attendance. That's a great attendance. And we're given 10 grand. So, you know, that helps pay a few wages, as you can see. 
everyone's happy. We're going to go to the press conference. It says today's result, I'm going to be assertive. Today's result is the next round of competition. Do you think all the way to win it? Uh, unfortunately, I don't think we can win it, so we're going to be very honest about that. To say the particular results was on the cards would be an exaggeration. How pleased are you by the outcome? I think that second one, uh, everything comes together to seem deserves great credit. A collector's item, we're delighted for Luke. Charlie Anderson had a good solid game. Uh, he was actually, it's nice to see the press not noticing the rather unfortunate uh, own goal that he had. So what we're going to do here, guys, we're going to get everyone who's on 60 fitness and we're going to give them a day off because I think that's important because uh, you need them to be the best shape they can and jump in the fitness um, because we've only got two days. So the FA qualifying fourth round draw, we're going to see who we get in the in the next round of the cup win that with through the first round again then you're starting to jump up with big money we need these um we need these things so um fourth round let's go to the view draw uh, how many teams are there to draw 64 so we're going to draw all teams a bit long not to do it we're not on that page so barrel and um, we're drawn at home which is great let's have a look and see Barrow, where are they? They're in the Squirrel North thing of an hour division. Are they? They are, and they are in 11th position. So I guess you could say, guys, we're considered the favourite for that match. So that's good news. Um, but we're going to move forward now. Um, I'm not sure quite uh, teamwork, I think. Now, what I'm going to do, guys, just in reflection of the excellent performance that we made the other day I think I'm going to go for a counter balanced tactic I need the players to be fit though this is going to be the problem is finding the team we look at Cartwright wasn't ready for the last game and is still looking touch and go for for, for this one um, Spalding that's just a, a scouting he's a new one he hasn't shown up before problem is the old one silly money here yeah, 500 quid a week and Sam Hibbert he's been on my radar for ages and um probably don't need him at the minute let's have a look and see his report well, where does he fit in well right back but we've got bed odds so we probably don't don't need him but so here we go then guys this is going to be the final game of this particular video but i hope you enjoyed that that great win in the fa cup i always love the cup games um okay so we've got superb morale uh, i usually start with a quick pick see where we are that always gets the fitness to the probably the one of the best you can get a kindy bed 88 um, Zach White's too young. We've got Ramsey. We've got Chapman. No, Chapman's probably going to have to go on the bench. And I think maybe Clamp. Clamp probably as well, to be honest. We've got Bedard. Mellish. So Bedard's going to be there. Still, I like to put them in some sort of order so I know where I'm at. Defensive players first. Um, Watson at right back. Is there any other option there? Probably tempted. That's probably about right, actually. Yeah, I think that's that's pretty much the team. Close call between Bedard and Watson. It's only 16, Tom Bedard, but not that's that's a close call probably going to go for Watson because he has got a good rating for the season um, Charlie Clamp hasn't even played a game yet he came to us injured so we're probably giving him his first his debut today probably in, instead of one of these guys will need to come off so he'll get his debut um, probably give better out a game Chapman hasn't played too well um, we've got Cartwright I think I'm going to go for Cartwright on the bench instead of um so basically on this game we've got if we just have a look at the team selection uh we'll, we'll submit team if we have a look at our there you go we've got cartwright and we've got clamp who are probably better than what's on the pitch to come on so those two players will, will help us out later into the game so we're playing afc telford and let the great do the team play. so let's hope for a good game here Maybe a cross there would be better. We 
can't fault them. Some of those do go in. Great ball coming. Pressure on the defender. And they got it out well. Tried to switch. Anderson picks it out nicely. To Hawkins. Back to Allen. Some of the great ball. The chicken goal. There from concert. Crawford has got the good of attack and play. Could be great in the scoring of this players. Great team in the scoring. Barrow shoots, possibly played saves. Could have been a penalty from Anderson, but the referee didn't play. Nice three ball, but he puts it wide down with a great chance there. He points out in the notes at the bottom, he should have been locked up there. So, we've gone in the first half, really, although there was bits and pieces to talk about. I think we need to do more. Um, I think I want to see, I'm not happy, so yeah, they're fired up. I think I'm going to bring Cartwright on for Timon. Or not. It's, I might just leave it as it is and make that change at 60 minutes. Everyone's doing okay at the minute. They're fired up for the. After getting a bit of a time off, let's see if I, how they react to that. Not very well. I'm going to lose the ball straight away. Williams with a long throw. Somehow, just a couple of. Let's see. Making a change. And that player's not very happy of going off. see a great ball from Williams just cut our defence absolutely in half Roach was just left for dead and they slotted it in nicely so we've got we're going to make some changes we're going to make Cartwright on for Timmon and we're going to bring Clamp on for his debut instead of Tom Murray who's not playing very well so let's see how, how these changes go Playing tight in the middle, passing the space. Just want to see a little bit more from the team. We've got two defensive midfielders to be sitting in front of the front. Right, these guys are quite easy on the attacks and so on. They're going to take the first. So we need to really get ourselves going in the last sort of 10 minutes trying to snatch a point here if we can. Disappointed with the great win against uh, Hampton and Richmond that we might lose here, but Williams with a fantastic ball, good cross, and we've got two for two more to go and see Telford. Disappointed with, like I say, a tough division. And I do anticipate a mid table finish this year. I think that's more down to 
maybe a tough fit this so a little bit of a disappointing win um i think i'm a little bit disappointed in that so we're still in fifth position but teams getting close uh afc telford actually go top with that win so at least you got beat off a, off a good team and we've got three days to recover so let's just do our press conference uh, uh, I don't think I want to make any comments on that team selection even though he probably will end up in the first team uh, I'm keen to move on don't usually big up other people's players and as you can see I think I need to give the whole of my first team a, a day off um, on there which I like to do just simply because you you know you, you need to give them a break so guys that's probably it for uh, this video as you can see things are going quite well and um, we're, we're doing we're doing okay uh, fifth in the division making our way through the season there'll be roughly 42 games we've got another 30 games to go we're doing okay 20 points you know if we was to treble at 60 you know be in and around the playoffs if, and that's probably where I'm looking to, to, to end up at the end of the season so if we can get it the playoffs you, you just never know but it's going to be a it's going to be a chore I think I need a few uh, more players to develop a little bit more maybe another season before we get into the into the conference I would like to get into League 2 before FM15 comes out uh, but until then guys um, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time on Runout.tv. Don't forget, if you like this video, you want to see more like this. Also, NHL 15, NBA 2K15, when that's released. Uh, the Golf Club and Virtual Pool 4. This is where you want to be on Runout.tv. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.